our insecurities, our ideas, our beliefs, our perception of what life is supposed to be, of what good is and of what bad is, of what wrong is and of what right is, has been the defining factor of our lives as human beings. The truth is, our different cultures, our various perceptions about life, are all a mixture of what it truly is to be human. It doesn't even matter what race we are from. It doesn't matter what tribe we are from. It doesn't matter what language we speak, what hair color we have, how we look. It doesn't even matter what region we originate from. What matters is that we know that as humans, we are connected. We have things we want to see come to pass. But how can we do this if we do not have an idea of social cohesion? If we do not come together as one through the articles that we write, through the speeches that we make, through our dance styles, through the arts we draw, through the paintings that we make for the world to see? How can we become better? How can we define hate when we have not understood that loving ourselves is the same as loving the people around us? That accepting ourselves for who we are, accepting ourselves as individuals, is all we need to turn around, look at other people, and accept them for who they are. What matters is that we have an understanding of what it is to be a decent human being. It is that we know that we can only get social cohesion if we stop online bullying, if we stop using hate words against people. Nobody likes being the recipients of all these kinds of social evils. If we start putting them in our shoes or putting ourselves in their shoes instead, then it's going to be better. Instead of fighting one another with things that do not even make sense, trying to live up to standards that are just in our brains, we can actually do some real work in the physical by learning to appreciate other people, by learning to accept one another, by learning to love ourselves and learning to love our neighbors as ourselves. We're not just loving the parts of them that we think that we need to love, but we're loving them as whole individuals the entire person, because loving people makes us appreciate them. It makes us understand where they're coming from. It helps us want to know their story, why they're doing what they're doing, what future they're looking forward to. Accept others and learn how to love each other.